and welcome to the Icon Tattoo and Body Piercing APP membership video. Here is the outdoor area of our studio. We've got our nice front windows here, our tattoo and piercing signage on the top of the building. Here we've got some beautiful photography of one of our clients. And then coming in, we've got our hours on the door and some signs about mask wearing and face masks. Right when you walk in, we've got our lobby. We have seating for clients here. We have a portfolio for tattoo artists to display their work here. And then we've got the full lobby. Over here, we have more client seating and our selfie wall. And here is our station for masks for clients to grab along with hand sanitizer. And we have HEPA filtration right there for the lobby. We have all this nice open space. And then over here, we have some nice metal printed artwork that is easy to clean and disinfect and some more lobby seating. Starting in this case here, we have some of our organic body jewelry. This is gonna be from Diablo, Tawapa, Maya, and Safe Products, and just some different organic hangers and ear weights. And we have some portfolios and booklets out on the top. Moving along, we have our jewelry cases. We have some business cards out, and then our jewelry displays run the length of these cases. If we start over here on the right, this is going to be our selection of Body Vision Los Angeles. Um, so this whole portion of the case is just all of our BVLA. Moving along in this section of the case, we have Anatometal all of their 18 karat gold. We have a few displays. We have some of our Buddha jewelry organics, some Oris, and then we also have some Pupil Hall and Hylia, along with some charms from Safe Products. In this section, we have the remainder of our gold with some nice gold basics from Anatometal and Body Gems, some sacred symbols, some Tawapa, our in-house jewelry line, Feral Forged, and then we have these displays over here, which feature Juniper, Metal and Silver, Regalia, Ketzali, Tether, Tawapa, and some assortment of body gems and anatometal. Over here, we just have our cash wrap. This is the client facing side. And then here is all of our titanium and implant grade steel jewelry. Starting in the back on the left, we have some nipple pieces. Coming down, we have some basic titanium prong set and bezel set gem ends and some simple titanium shapes. A small selection of nostril screws if needed, a bunch of captive bead rings, seam rings, and suitable styles for initial piercing. We've got our cute little anodizing display with lots of different fun anodized pieces, a selection of navel curves for floating and traditional navels, some setup industrial bars, and then some 14 and 12 gauge threaded ends, just to kind of show the selection. And then in our last portion of the case, we have our glass jewelry. We have both body jewelry and standard jewelry with rings, pendants, and earrings from Gorilla Glass, and then plugs and ear weights from Gorilla Glass and Glassware Studios. And then over in this case here, we have a couple more organics. This selection is just going to be some stone and wood plugs from Diablo and or Omerica. And then in this corner of the lobby, we have our light ring for taking client photos and a HEPA air filter just to keep things cleaner in the lobby. Right here, we have a mini fridge with some water bottles for clients if needed. And then up here, we have some extra Optum for some extra surface disinfectant. And right over here is our anodizing setup with our TSP clearly labeled because uh, otherwise we drink it. <laughs> and so we have everything needed to do our anodizing right here. 
If we move to under the cases, underneath this case, we have some extra backstock displays. And then right here, we have our extra O-rings. And this is going to be our extra single and double flare plugs. And then this portion of the case does not open. But we just have our extra Gorilla Glass boxes and some more extra displays tucked back there. This is going to be our area for special orders and reprocess jewelry. In this drawer, we have an extra copy of our handbook, some extra sheets, jewelry waiting on pickup. Uh, shout out to Feral Handmade, this stuff's gorgeous. And then underneath here, we just have some extra packaging supplies, some extra cleaning supplies, and then our binders for our special order jewelry and reprocess jewelry for clients. Over here, we have all of our saline for aftercare. We have our saline out to sell, and we have some extra cases up here. This is actually low for us. Uh, behind this case, we have our aftercare booklets uh, so that we can grab them to pass out to clients and have them to fill out. Um, and they're just all stored along this case. Over here, we have our back end of our cash wrap. We have some jewelry baggies to receive jewelry from clients, extra aftercare booklets, just some writing utensils and our cash drawer. Underneath here, we have some extra cleaning supplies, extra containers to receive jewelry from clients, some glucose tablets, some extra hand sanitizer. These are all boxes of jewelry baggies, extra hand sanitizer, extra masks, and extra cups for jewelry. And then under here, we just have some office supplies, our binder, some envelopes, and then these have some forms in them. On this section up here, we have all of our glove boxes from up front, some extra office supplies, and our tablets for filling out paperwork. Then over here in this section underneath the case, we just have some storage of extra business cards and our tattoo appointment forms. And then this side just has some extra paperwork. In this section of the case, we have some of our gold back stock, some extra displays, and some extra display pieces. And then underneath here, we have our covers for our cases, and then more extra business cards, and more extra tattoo deposit forms. Up here in this drawer, we just have some of our extra lighting that we use behind our cases. And then down in this section, we have our old health inspection forms in case we ever need them. These are some studio hats and shirts. Uh, and then this section again does not open, but if you peek in, there's just some extra electrical supplies. So that is our set behind the cases. Here we have our certificates. So our APP membership certificates and our inspection licenses that we need for the studio. And then coming around, We've got our nice view of the lobby from behind the cases. You can just see some seating set up on that side of the lobby and then the rest is open space. Now here at Icon, we are fully disposable studio, so we do not have a reprocessing room, but this is our jewelry supply room. So this is where we keep all of our storage for our jewelry, our sterilizers, and all of our equipment. Starting over here, we have this trash can. It is unlidded because this is not a biohazard trash. This is purely for plastic trash and supplies used in this room. No biohazard is allowed in this trash can. And then up here, we just have some more extra hand sanitizer, some extra saline. And in this filing cabinet, we have this top drawer where we store our backstock indicator strips from our sterilizers. And we have some extra aftercare sheets back here. In this drawer, we have extra writing utensils, some tattoo paperwork, and just some extra invoices and forms. This is kind of like our junk drawer. We've just got a bunch of extra scissors, some supplies we need for our sink pumps, and just some extra paperwork. And then this drawer has some extra cleaning supplies as needed. Up top on this cabinet, we have extra storage. We have some of our non-woven gauze, some extra cases of gloves, extra mouthwash, and then our disposable masks. 
on here, we do provide home COVID testing for all of our staff members. We have the testing instructions for the tests we have just in case. And then we have some of our other permitting from the health department because that's where they wanted us to put it. And then inside this cabinet, we have supply storage. Starting over on the left, we have some iodine swabs, some of our studio's COVID tests, saline wipes, extra gauze, alcohol pads, surgical lubricant, and Viscot markers. Then on the next shelf, these are some extra cases of Opticide. We have our back stock of needles and tapers, more alcohol swabs, some cotton tipped applicators. We have BZK as an alternative skin prep when we have clients with alcohol iodine allergies, another form of iodine swabs, and some glucose tablets and shots. And then down at the very bottom, we have quite a bit of glove storage for all of our piercers gloves. Standing over here, we have some storage of extra studio shirts that are waiting to be displayed. And I've opened this box just for this video. Normally this box is closed. And then right here is our reprocessing area. Since we are a fully disposable studio, we have a disposable setup for reprocessing with medical cups that have little lids and some enzymatic foam and some sterile pouches to reprocess jewelry that needs to go out for repair and things like that. Coming over to this area, we have our back stock of jewelry. So all of our jewelry back stock is going to be in these hanging cases and also in the drawers of this cabinet. Starting up at the top, we do have some more extra Optum wipes. We have some fun little display pieces that were given to us, extra skin markers for easy access, extra gentian violet just in case, some silicone tool covers, and the moral support dinosaurs. If you're having a bad day, it'll cheer you up. In all of these is where we store our back stock jewelry. So for example, in here, we have some clear CZs. We have some Aurora gems. Over in this section, we have all of our threadless back stock from 18 to 12 gauge, and then it moves on to threaded barbells. In this section here, we have threaded straight barbells, curves, and circulars. This section here is all of our captive bead rings, fixed bead rings, and seam rings. And then over here, we have the remainder of our seam rings, everything we use for surface work, surface bars and anchors, and then our glass retainers. I'm going to grab some gloves, and then we're going to move on into the supply drawers. Starting once again with just jewelry, we have our back stock of large gauge captive bead rings. Seconds. Large gauge curves and large gauge circulars and captives. Then down in this drawer, we have all of our back stock hemostats. Once again, we are a disposable studio. We don't do anything reprocessing. Everything is disposed of after use. So these are all single use. And then in this drawer, we have extra face shields, extra KN95 masks, extra indicator strips, and some hair clips and bobby pins for clients. In this drawer, we have our large gauge straight barbells. In this drawer, we have some backstock beads, opal beads, and some older special order pieces. And in this drawer, we have extra face shields, extra jewelry bags, and extra heat shrink wrap. This drawer has all of our back stock of gold seam rings. This drawer has all of our back stock of navel curves. And this drawer has some assorted bandages, ammonia if needed, some Advil always needed, and some extra statum tubing. And then underneath in this section, we have our back stock of sterile gloves, some more regular glove storage, and we have some extra seals and accessories as needed for our statums. This surface area right here is a workspace. This is where we set up and prep for piercing. So this area is kept typically clear. We just have some hand sanitizer, a clock, some jewelry baggies, and then some different pens and writing implements. Right over here on this tray, we keep our extra statum cassettes for when we'd like to use them. And in this container, we keep extra pre-sterilized needles and extra pre-sterilized jewelry, just in case we need to grab something and we don't have time to run a statum cycle. Right here, you can see our indicator log. This is where we record all of our 
cycles in our statums. And then over here we have our bay of statums. We have three G4s that we use here in our Nashville location. And these all get spore tested every single week. And next to the statums, we have our water distiller. We do all of our own distilled water in-house. And down here, we have some extra containers of distilled water and then our other statum reservoir. Now going through these drawers, starting over on this, this drawer here, we have all of our septum clamps and sponge forceps. We are again a disposable studio, so all of these are disposed afterwards. We still have some in reprocessing bags from when we did reprocess, um, but again, we are fully disposable now. Moving down to our next drawer, we have our ring openers and closers and some of our brass tools. In this next drawer, we have more brass tools, surface anchor tools, disc grippers, and extra septum clamps. Moving down into this drawer, we have more extra tools. This is all um, septum clamps and extra disc grippers and ring openers. And then we have some of our sport tests. And then down in this very bottom drawer, we have some arm sleeves, some extra face masks, and some extra table drapes. Moving over this way, this whole drawer is just hemostats. Again, everything is disposed of after use. We have all of our piercing sticks. And then in this drawer, we have all of our skin prep for easy access. We have alcohol and iodine, two different iodine swabs for different piercer preference. Our markers, our signal use surgical lubricant, saline wipes, extra toothpicks, and then BZK wipes as an alternative skin prep for clients with iodine allergies. Over in this section here, we have all of our needles. We have some pre-sterilized needles from Stiletto and then our Kiwamis and our ISLLC. According to state law in Tennessee, we do need to keep a number of pre-packaged needles. So we have these here for our health inspector, even though we do run statum. So we typically sterilize right before use. And then over here, we have some needle modification and bending tools. In this drawer here, we have all of our needle blanks. Once again, we are a disposable studio, so we do not use many tapers. So this is where we have all of our blanks, our large gauge blanks, and we do have some of our disposable single use tapers from Stiletto. And then in this drawer here, we have a lot of different receiving tubes and also the rest of our spore tests. And then finally, down under this section, we have more backstock of tools, more hemostats and ring openers, some disposable clamps. And then down here, we have some extra cases of gloves, an extra reservoir for our statums, and some extra reprocessing pouches. These sometimes get used for our reprocessed jewelry. And that is our jewelry supply room. Now moving on from our jewelry supply room, we have our piercing rooms. Here is our first piercing room. We've got our pretty little wallpaper, these nice windows. This doorway leads right into our jewelry supply room. And then over here, this doorway leads out into our lobby for clients to enter the piercing room. We have a simple table here for just some business cards and social media signs. This actually is covered by the selfie wall on the other side. It was a two-way mirror, but now it's totally blocked off. We have our mirror for clients to take a peek at. And then up here, we have our HEPA air filter and some more cute moral support dinosaurs. And then in this jewelry case, we have a little display of body piercing history items. Um, just a cute little piece I've put together. Right over here, we have some client seating. And then we have our piercing table. And I just used an exam chair, which is capable of being adjusted for lots of different piercings and positions. And then down here, we have this drawer. I have a spill kit, some extra gloves, 
extra tools and needles and spore tests. We are required by Tennessee state law to keep some of these things in here, including these backstock needles, even though they get sterilized and used in our jewelry processing room. And then underneath here, we have some table drapes. Moving on to this section over here, this is where we have our biohazard area, we have our wall mounted sharps container, and then tucked in here we have our foot pedal activated trash can. These are stored in this little alcove out of the way, that way clients cannot access it. Over here I have some Optum and some saline, we have a hands free soap dispenser and paper towel dispenser and a motion activated sink, along with some glucose tabs and a glove box. And then we have the second alcove over here. This is a little office space or working space. I have some extra storage of gloves and sterile gloves down there. And then in this filing cabinet here, I have a file folder with some client records, some extra tools that are my personal tools, which is why they're stored outside of the studio tools. This drawer just has some more paperwork and more books. And then a little junk drawer with some Magic the Gathering cards and a whole bunch of stuff. And then moving through, this jewelry room connects to all of our other piercing rooms. So we have our second piercing room here. Starting over on this side, we just have some Optum wipes, some extra supplies, and some gloves if needed in room. And then we have again our hands free sink, paper towel dispenser, soap dispenser, and then some extra paper towels. In this room's drawers, we have our extra gloves, our spill kit, some extra trash can liners, and then this drawer is empty. And then over in this corner of the room, we have our wall mounted sharks container and we have our foot activated trash can. Over on that side, we have our mirror for clients and then just some cool albums framed up on the wall. And then moving through into our third piercing room laid out relatively similar. We have over in this corner, our paper towel dispenser, our hand soap and our hands free sink, and then a glove box mounted up on the wall for easy access. Right over here, tucked into this corner, we have our shirts container. And again, our foot pedal activated trash can. And then this piercing room also has this little alcove and we have this closet here, which has our hot water heater for the studio in it and then just some storage of extra displays and jewelry organizers. And then underneath this table, we have a little bit of additional storage and once again, gloves, spill kit, and supplies that we are required to have in room in the state of Tennessee. And of course, our cute little mirror. So those are all of our piercing rooms, and so now we can move through to the back portion of the studio. This little door connects our lobby to the back space, and then we have this main hallway back here. Starting over on this side, this is just an air conditioning closet. Not very exciting. And then we have our tattoo artist drawing room and some office space. So we just have some computers, our printer, some extra paper, our desk setup where we do our online store fulfillment, which just has some extra photography supplies in the drawer and the computer tucked away under here. Then we have our photography area with our light box and extra photo supplies, a trash can here, which is just for paper scraps, 
our station for making stencils with our tattoo artist stencil paper and some extra printer paper and ink and then some light tables for our tattoo artists. Right across the hall from this space we have our employee and client restroom. It's me and Rob. <laughs> and here we have hands-free sink, hands-free soap dispenser, and then on the other side we have our hands-free paper towel dispenser. Below that we have some menstrual products out for use if needed. We have some cleaning supplies. This drawer just has some extra cleaning supplies. And then we have some extra menstrual products as needed. And then in the corner over here we have our foot pedal activated trash can. Moving on to the client bathroom, we have our employee break room. This is just a space for employees to be able to take their lunches and relax. So starting over here in these cabinets, we just have a lot of snacks. Um, honestly, it's going to be a lot of snacks. Um, our microwave, some of our disposable silverware. We have more snacks. We have, this drawer just has some batteries and some extra trash liners, extra water bottles from clients up front. This is just your classic under the sink cleaning supplies. Up here, we've just got our sink, hands-free paper towel dispenser, a dish rack, and then we've got our coffee maker. That is the MVP employee of the studio. We have- <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> we have a little bit of coffee. A little bit. We have some coffee, some an, coffee. an amount of coffee, uh, and, then in this drawer we have our ever important Magic the Gathering card and dice drawer, what more do you need, and then underneath here we have Red Bull. Mostly for me. Uh, and then we just have our fridge and freezer, and then our table, and our little whiteboard back here. Moving on from the employee break room across the hall, we have Ian's office. This is just an office space. Um, so just a computer, a printer, a desk, uh, and then these really lovely photos of Ian. Moving back out, we next have our jewelry making room. We do make a lot of our gold jewelry in house. So this is the room where all of that happens. Um, this is actually about as clean as a bench working room <laughs> will ever be. And then moving on, we have one of our tattoo artist rooms across the hall. This is our permanent cosmetic artist room, so there's a little private space for microblading and lashes. No piercing happens in this room. Then we have our storage area over here. Uh, and this is just a general storage space for the studio. This is a garage area. So we just have our power tools, extra cleaning supplies, records stored. Down in the back, we have our biohazard waste pickup containers. That is where our used tools and sharp containers go to be taken by a biohazardous waste company. Along this wall, we just have some extra supplies and screens, our extra printers and vinyl printers, and then all the extra supplies from remodeling the studio. It's basically a dad's garage. I mean, Ian is the shop dad. And then we have our tattoo artist station. So these are all tattoo stations. No piercing happens in these spaces. This is our guest artist station currently being used for some additional storage. And then our final tattoo artist station. Right across from the station, we have our mop closet. This is just where we have our cleaning supplies, 
our mops, we have extra trash bags, paper towels, hand sanitizer, and like mop heads and cleaning supplies just stored back here. Then in the back, we have our extra supply storage. This is primarily tattoo artist supplies, but some piercing supplies. Over here, we have our bulk supplies. We have some extra trash cans, extra paper towels, and extra KN95 masks. Stored over here, we have our extra Optum wipes. Up here, we have extra razor blades and wraps for the tattoo artists, as well as ink cups. And in this cabinet, we have paper towels, tray liners, alcohol, witch hazel, extra green soap, and extra hand soap. Then over here, we have the rest of our back stock of gloves from extra large down to extra small. And in this section here, we have a bin of rinse cups, our extra ointment for tattoo artists, extra Sharpies and machine bags, extra tape and ink caps, extra cohesive wrap, and then the remainder of our back stock of gloves. This is a million dollars right here, folks. This is the real wealth. It really is. And then right back here, we have our employee only bathroom. This is not for clients. This is just for employees. We've got a little bit of cleaning supply storage back here hands-free paper towel dispenser, foot activated trash can, sink, hands-free soap dispenser, and then who needs a mirror? Is it hot? Does it look good? Are you proud to serve it? That's all we need to know. <laughs> and then right out the back door, this is the exit to the studio, and then we just have our back parking lot. And that is everything. You have now seen the entirety of Icon Tattoo and Body Piercing for our APP membership video. Thanks for hanging out for an incredibly long time and hope you enjoyed.